Objection! Hello and welcome back. I've had quite a long hiatus in between case 2 and 3, but today we are here to start case 3 of Ace Attorney Justice for All. It's going to be episode 3 and it's going to be Turnabout Big Top. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, so seeing as Morgan Fay is in prison now, I think I'm now looking after Pearl. Kind of. Either way, it seems I've taken the ladies to a circus. Ten guesses on who the case is going to be about. Now go on, I dare you. Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? Mm, kind of. What, you didn't take Maya? She just tagged along? Well, she might be a bit sheltered, but she's not an idiot. Oh boy, you're just fueling the flames here now. You're Phoenix Wright. Of course it won't. Oh, now I feel old. I bet there's some people watching now who don't remember when phones used to be like that. A sensational murder, you don't say.
I think we knew from the start that he was either going to be the victim or the accused. No, not just fans. People who don't like syllables. Well, I very much doubt there's some sort of weird deadline for cleaning the office, so... I think we can spare the time to go over and see if we can help them out. There's good old Mr. Guard in the background there. I wish I knew his name. He's in every case. You're going to be reading that word quite a lot. It could only be the one and only fabulous Max Galactica. Uh, no. Maybe she could point, but I don't think she can pick it. Calm down, it's not a burger. Damn, that was awful. If there wasn't a glass pane in front of me, I would slap you. Well, whatever gave you that impression. I guess there's like a sliding tray underneath the window or something. Nice to see his priorities are in order. Alright, we're here for a reason, so we better find out what happened. And we can do that by talking to him. Yes, there is. And I don't see a tray, so how did I get that card? <laughs> you just realised? Wow. Can I just leave?
Yeah. Easily impressed, this one. No. I'm surprised we can see his whole head through that glass. I kind of want to see Maya channel a spirit, just so he can shit his pants. I'm very thankful I'm on this side of the glass, because I think his head's about to explode. Yeah, never meet your heroes. Here we go though, what the hell happened? Okay, so it was the ringmaster. Right, well that explains it. I think he's in his own little world, and he is the king. Shock him back into reality. Okay, I can do that, but first, meeting with Russell? We should probably evacuate the building. His head's gonna pop any minute. Hello! Oh, okay. Mr. Fabulous Magician isn't quite telling the truth. Right, so I'm going to have to get those unlocked at some point, but I don't know anything about this guy yet, really, so I'll come back to that later. What I need to do now is shock him back into reality, and I think to do that, I'll show him my badge. He still doesn't get it.
I certainly hope not, if that's what it sounds like. That's more like it. Isn't that like a double negative? So he is a killer. Looks like we're dealing with a male version of Lotta Heart. Hmm, that doesn't sound very fabulous to me. Yeah, I'm still trying to work out how. Oh, I didn't want any of his hearts. Now I've got ten. There are people in hospitals waiting on transplants because of this guy alone. Yes, he did. No, oh, no, you don't. Don't you start. Okay, the next step, of course, is to look at the scene of the crime. So, we're off to the very big circus. And there it is, so, let's go. Dick Gumshoe? We're calling a Dick Gumshoe! Alright, well, there's nothing right here, so let's go somewhere else. Let's see. Okay, we can go to the lodging house, or we can go to the big top. Which one? Let's go for the big top. Hey, look at that. Because I don't want to turn up in court tomorrow in a wheelchair. Pr pr probably because you're s s stuttering all the time. And so ends case three. Unfortunately, there isn't going to be a case for, so uh, thank you for- oh. I'm not certain, but I think a tiger just pounced on him, so I don't think he's brilliant.
Hardly ever isn't good enough. Because she's one of the Twilight vampires. She's quite forward, isn't she? must be related to the victim. Everybody looks odd in this game. Alright, she seems unusually happy considering what has happened, but um, let's have a chat, shall we? And yet, despite that, she's still bouncing up and down with joy. I think we're looking at the numero uno primo suspecto right here, in whatever language I just slaughtered. She has no guilt. Truly, we are looking at the face of a psychopath. Mystery solved. Right, okay, that can wait, I suppose. There's something in the background that I really want to examine, but, you know, first off, tell us about yourself. You see, I told you, she's a, well, she might be a psychopath, she might be a sociopath. She's definitely one of the two. Lay on the line, or lay on the line. I see what they did there. Again, she says with this weird Mona Lisa smile on her face. Yeah. Anyway, there's more to talk about, but not quite yet. We're just going to take a very short break. I'm just going to examine something on the floor here. You probably noticed it, but it's definitely something I need to take a look at. That's much better. Anyway, I want to talk to her about her father. It's 
Spill the beans. I know you did it. Sounds like a plan, but while we're at it, any thoughts on Max? Oh, no, sorry. Maximilian? Well, it's clearly not the loss of your father. But I wonder, can we inquire further? Let's have a look. Yeah, what's on your mind? He's going to be next to die then, isn't he? Well, that depends. How many decks of cards does he have? Someone named Trillo, or Trilo. Okay. Master of Manipulation, indeed. Yeah, you just keep giggling, bitch. I'm on to you. Anyway, there's nothing left here to talk about, so let's move on. Right, yeah, she mentioned this place a moment ago. The Ringmaster's Room. Let's go there next. Not quite yet. I think this room needs examining. There's something on the table here. Tons of trophies, loads of posters, a tailcoat, a desk. Maya mentioned the poster, so let's have a look at the poster. My legal aid is a kleptomaniac. Either way, it is the first piece of evidence we've taken away from the scene. Okay, now what? What next? Uh, let's have a look at the tailcoat.
Should have gone to Specsavers. Well, it's usually because you are doing something wrong. Anyway, let's just move on. Uh, there's a little dressing table over here. Hmm, alright. Nothing really useful to the case, but, um, there is something that could be useful. Sitting right next to us on that table. Let's take a look. Come on, Phoenix, you're a lawyer, an ace attorney. If you just started charging people for your services, then you might have some money too. Sounds pretty important to me. Max, you liar. Alright, so I've just got those papers, and I've also got the poster. I don't think there's anything left in here, actually, so maybe it's time we move back out to the big top. Let's go back to the entrance, because there was the, uh, the plaza to go to, right? Okay, let's go towards the lodging house. Oh, no, I'm not ready for him. Hey! Of course he was going to be around here somewhere. It's eerily quiet here. Let's have a chat. What a surprise. Tomorrow's trial. Has anyone actually tried taking the whip away from her, or banning it, or something? Yeah, what did happen to Edgeworth? When you went back home? Absolutely nothing. No. According to this game, anyway, there was no Case 5. Surely that's needlessly cryptic.
<laughs> yeah, okay, Phoenix. Don't burst into tears quite yet. We've got more talking to do. I'm assuming those markings in the snow have something to do with it. That's a remarkably dark joke. Well done. Clear cut. <laughs> you have no idea. That's better. That breaks up the silence. So, what doesn't fit? Looks like he was carrying it and then he collapsed on it. And so I deduce that the culprit has seen The Shining. No, 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 don't even think it. I guess that would explain the footprints, though. And there we have a very clear suggestion that I should probably present the profile of Max Galactica. So, yeah, let's do that. Oh gee, I wonder why. Oh, okay. They didn't just arrest him because he was the last person to see him. You know, if I was going to murder someone, I'd probably make sure that I didn't leave any really unique items behind that would cause the people that discovered the body to think it was me. Yeah, clearly. Oh, they got my witness as well. Great. 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 If I'm not mistaken, I should be able to talk about this eyewitness. Okay, let's do that.
but you just told me there was one. <laughs> Gumshoe, you might just be the worst liar ever. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? If I go to move, there should be another option. Yeah, Moe's room. Let's go to Moe's room. Or is Mr. Gumshoe here going to stop us? Let's find out. <laughs> I guess not. Good, good. Trust me on this, guys. It's it's a good thing. Yep, at some point we will be back. But um, for now, there's nothing to do here. So let's go back and, um, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe back to see Max. Or maybe not. What's this? Oh yes, of course. Yeah, of course, because everyday average Joes have bow ties that are made out of bed sheets, right? He's a v, -v, v ventriloquist Of course he is. He's not a Kakakani. I think we're just going to call you Ben. Sorry, is that 1B or 12? Anyway, he's another member of the circus, and, uh, he looks a little bit depressed. Maybe he knows about the murder. Yeah, it's, it's like he's done something wrong. Perhaps everybody in the circus collectively killed the ringmaster. That wasn't brilliantly helpful. Does he know anything about Max? I don't think this is going to go anywhere, but let's just see.
<laughs> yeah, this, is, this isn't going well at all. We should probably leave before it spreads any further. But maybe just one last try. Let's try and present Max's profile to him. Yeah, this is going nowhere fast, so um, let's forget about that. I guess I could go back to Max, have a chat with him, or I could go and try and speak to Mo again. Mm, let's give Mo one last try. Ah, this is better. Although, not really, as you'll come to find out. Everybody, meet Mo the Clown, the reason that suicide hotlines exist. I'm sorry that I have to subject you to this, everybody, but to complete the case, this is necessary. Well, okay, maybe he's not as bad as I made him out to be, but the amount of bad jokes he comes up with is outrageous. Even more than me. Well, for me, I think they've always been a little bit more scary than funny. <laughs> no. Although I do have to say, I kind of like his hat, which um, well, kind of replicates what his face is doing. Anyway, let's just get this over with. I think he's the eyewitness, so let's learn all we can from him right now. Also, I have to say, I quite like this music, but um... After hearing it about 50 times, it's going to get on your nerves. To those of you watching that have played all the games before, uh, do you think I'd be right in saying that this one has probably got the worst music? Apart from some standout tracks, I think the, the, rest, the rest of the games have far better audio. Bowling? Really? <laughs> Not very convincing there.
I don't know, that's what we're trying to find out. What happened? That's a shame, because now we're going to have to talk to him even more. Sounds like Mo doesn't really like Max either. Like, <laughs> yeah, like that's gonna happen. We're going to have to try and get that information out of him somehow, but um, let's just move on to what you witnessed. Why? Never do that again, please. By a very, very small fraction. Or, somebody wearing his hat and coat. He certainly does, and I believe there's nothing else to talk about, so, um... I think we're just gonna have to present his profile. That's pretty dark. Ben did say he wasn't very nice, so...
cafeteria. Now that's somewhere we haven't actually been before, so that is a good idea. Maya, get my gun. Actually, forget the gun. Get me a grenade. Well, although that was rather tedious, we didn't walk away with nothing. I mean, we've got the map, we know to go to the cafeteria, and uh, we know what Mo saw last night, so not bad, really. I'm just going to take a quick look at that map, because I'm not entirely sure where the cafeteria is. Oh right, okay, it's, uh, it's in the big top, so if I go back to the entrance and then into the big top, I should be able to get to it from there. There we go. Big Top Cafeteria. Let's have a look. Now, I'm pretty sure there is only one thing to find in this room, and it's staring at us right in the center of the floor there. It's a broken bottle. Yeah, and I think you're wearing sandals, right? That's what I like to see. Broken Bottle has been added into the evidence inventory, and there's a very clear indication that I have to go back to the detention center and speak to Max. This is probably the time for me to bring up the Magatamara as well, and break those Cyclops. Okay, before I get stuck in trying to break the Cyclox, let's just talk with him. Perhaps there's something more he can tell me. It's quite worrying, but I think Max is the sane one of the bunch. Alright, 
Just for a moment, I thought he might be referring to me or Maya. Maybe he hasn't popped the question yet. Alright, what happened? You, <laughs> you head about it? Great, I foot about it. Well, in that little picture, I didn't see the box anywhere. He wasn't carrying it, so maybe he was going to collect it. Gee whiz, that's convenient. Alright. We are left with no other choice but to try and break this guy's Cyclox, so it's time to get out the Magatama again. <laughs> I'd like to imagine that he's just thrown the Magatama straight at the window. We talked to everyone we could do, we got a, a little bit more information, so hopefully we're, we're going to find out what happened with his meeting with Russell. He's lying again. He's lying already. Well, just moments ago, I did pick up some papers about your salary change, but... They were dated a week ago. Alright, that was easy enough. One down, two to go. I think there was some sort of problem. A problem with Max and Ben. And a broken bottle found on the cafeteria floor. Okay, this is really easy. There's only one left. He used this bottle too. Well, he used it to hit Ben over the head. Ouch.
Okay. That was pretty easy, but it did require you to do that investigation first. Ben did say he had a sore head, so yeah. It was probably more than a tap if you broke the bottle. Could have killed the guy. That'd be one of the weirdest conversations. It's like, why did you hit Ben over the head? Let me marry your daughter! I mean, what the hell? Well, if that was your goal, you did a very good job. Because now he doesn't speak, or when he does, he stutters. Ben, Trillo, Quist. I see what they did there. I take back what I said about him being sane. Ringmasters? Really? Oh. Okay, it might seem a little bit strange, but the next step is to find that puppet. And if he's in the Ringmaster's room, that's where we gotta go. Typical. I'm about to go and find his puppet, and he does a runner. Great. Maybe, maybe. I've gotta go through the big top to get to the Ringmaster's room, so we might meet him. Okay, what if the culprit was walking in the victim's footprints? Well, Ben's missing. Now Regina. Please let Moby gone. Please let Moby gone. Please let Moby gone.
She wants to steal another one? Has she no heart? Yeah, and I think he's in one of two places. He's either somewhere around the desk or maybe in that trophy cabinet. Okay, well, if he's not there, then, uh, trophy cabinet? Okay, well, we gotta find him first. Because you're the poster pilferer. Anyway, um, I think what we should probably do is try and find Ben, actually, so let's search all around the other parts of the circus. Hey, Ben. Hey! That didn't take long. I think it's about time we gave him his puppet back, because it's clearly what he's sad about. That's what he's been missing. No, of course it's not. It's Trillo. He's such a talented ventriloquist that he gets punched in the face by his own puppet. Not bad. I believe so. He's still got a hand shoved firmly up his ass. Well, bizarrely, now that Trillo's around, Ben seems to be opening up. Kind of. So let's just try talking to him again. These guys are all nutcases. Yeah, that murder. Wait, 
What, there's more? Alright, let's ask Ben, or Trillo, about the very big circus. Are, are we witnessing schizophrenia here? Because this just, this goes beyond an act, right? I'm I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to skip playing fraud. What the fuck? Marriage? No way. I I, I don't think she does. Alright, let's get back onto the case. Flying fraud. Chaser. That is a great term. Of course, as always, somebody say they know something and then they run off before they can tell me about it. Right. Now what? Well, it's got to be somewhere else, so let's leave the cafeteria. Oh, maybe Regina's back. Phoenix, you've got money problems. Not my badge. Not my badge.
Money problems? See? See what I did there? Yeah? I'll go sit with Mo. Nah, I well, won't. Well, that can wait. Let's talk first. Money the monkey, Ben and Trillo, and the proposal. Well, money the monkey first. Well, at least he didn't get the Magatama, but still, I need my badge! I guess that's just one animal she can't tame. Yeah, unfortunately, I think that is the next course of action. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Get, no, no, get me out of here, please. I'm, I'm going insane. But, uh, what about this proposal? Oh, now you went and ruined it. Although, it's probably a good thing you did. She's... she's dead serious. And... no. No, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to go and see Mo. He at least makes sense. Oh? Come on, that joke only works in text form.
Uh, I hope Moe's not the killer, because I want him to have a chance of getting killed himself. But apparently, this is the guy to speak to to talk about money problems, so let's see. Regina or Money the Monkey? Let's start with Regina. Well, that explains a few things, I suppose. Really? Where? Alright, Mo, tell me about money. That's it, I'm done. I that's it, I'm done. I'm no. Getting my badge back is a priority, so I say we go right now. Acro's room, okay. That is a big pile of shiny shit. <laughs> yeah, not as a profile, but as evidence. <laughs> right, okay, well, I'm going to assume that my attorney's badge is somewhere in amongst all this. Let's have a look. From T to R. Okay.
No, 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 don't think like that. It's not Trillo, it's Ben. It's always been Ben. Thanks for watching the investigation, guys. Join me next time in the trial where we'll try and figure all this out.